Hi there, I'm Adrian Salisbury from the Pro Video Academy, but we're not talking about video today. We're all about Kajabi and how to set up a webinar pipeline when you want it to go to more than one webinar. Come on, let's get into it. Now last year, Kajabi came up with a pipeline for a Zoom webinar and everyone was going, ah, brilliant. I don't use Zoom webinars and so I looked at it and thought, oh, how do I do this? Do I need to learn Zoom? Do I need to get going and change around and start paying for that? Um, but I looked at it and realized actually that the only integration across to a Zoom webinar was a little link that took you from a Kajabi page across to Zoom and so I just changed that around and I sent it across to Webinar Jam. And there's a video that you can check out where I show you how to integrate this with Webinar Jam. And I just recorded another video where I'm showing you how to clone one pipeline to another. But anyway, let's jump into this one. I'll show you on the screen here. This was me doing a launch back in November and it went to just one webinar. So as a registration page to one event, there's a confirmation page, webinar page. Um, you can see all these details in the video that I just did on cloning. Um, but you can see pretty standard, that's kind of what gets spat out by the um, Zoom pipeline anyway. But I wanted to do more than one and I'm scratching my head thinking, how can I do this? Um, a lot of limitations, but there is a way around it. Now, you might think there's a better way to do this, and please, I'd be happy to hear in the comments what you think. Um, but I've cloned this pipeline across then, and uh, the difference is, what I've done is on the registration page here, whereas previously my link here would have taken you straight through to the two-step opt-in, um, I've got three different call to actions here that are all they're doing is sending you to another landing page and those landing pages are just here. So I've created a different landing page for each one and it's just a very simple, as you can see, opt-in form. Um, it's nothing fancy on here, just got the date on it and register. And that then takes me through to the relevant webinar form. Plus, as you can see here, I've also set up for my thank you page, go to a landing page and that is another confirmation one as you can see popping up, that's my 5 p.m. one on the 30th. So I'm just cloning these things out three times. So over there you can see, in fact, it's probably easier in the overview. Here's the registration for the 30th of Jan at 5 p.m. And there's my event that's set up with it. So I've gone in there, I've created an event. Um, now I've had to copy this out three times so it does take time. You've got to go in here, set up your event, and then I've put my emails in. So what I've had to do is I've sat with two windows side by side open, and I've really gone down. I've covered this in the other video talking about cloning, uh, but I've gone down, I've opened up these emails, and I've literally just copied and pasted the content across. Um, it doesn't matter because I'm not actually needing to put the dates and the times in because the, the code within the email will do that for me. I haven't had to change that one around. So when it's one hour before, it'll be one hour before this event. It doesn't matter that I've got three queued up. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. So I've got my registration page at the top that literally has three links that point to the following three registration page plus event registration page two, which is for 8 p.m. plus the event. Registration page three plus the event. Okay, so you can add these in just by hovering over here and it says add a page. Um, I can clone out that registration page and just keep changing the dates and times and create three events. Now, hopefully I haven't lost you already. If you start your pipeline off with the Zoom webinar pre-filled one, this stuff will be in anyway. It's just a case of editing it and cloning bits to get three different events going. Now, normally I had a, the time before I had this confirmation page, it was dead simple, just with a countdown timer saying, you know, check your emails and come back here. Uh, so all I've done is to copy that back out. Again, I've created three different pages. Um, because that event needs linking up, so the timer works separately. 
And then when I'm creating those registration pages and it's saying, where do you want to send them for a thank you page? I'm choosing one of these three confirmation pages. So it's a little bit back and forth. Then I've got three webinar pages. So again, I've just created that first webinar page and where the link is in here, I haven't even changed this page, where the link is in here to go to the webinar, that link there goes across to webinar jam rather than zoom. And that is the only difference in this pipeline. So again, because I've got three different webinars, um, three different pages, three thank you pages, um, I've now got three webinar pages. So the place these are being linked up to is from the emails. So when you go back into that event and you've got your emails that are dripping out and you're sending out your email one hour before or 15 minutes before and it says, go here to join the webinar, it's going to, the link you need is into one of these three webinar pages, obviously based on which event sequence you've got. And all you do is click on these three dots here, edit the details, and um, I, as you can see, I've rewritten these. It really doesn't matter. I know some people seem to get, you know, don't touch the, the link. It really doesn't matter because all it's doing is telling, you're telling it to go to this page anyway. So I can rename that to whatever I want. Just don't leave spaces. It won't handle spaces. Uh, copy that. Then in my emails, when I'm sending them out, in fact, let me show you when I'm one hour before in my email and it says, join us here. I created a button or it could be a link and that address there, as you can see, uh, that's the beauty of making it very simple in your links is it's dead obvious. I know that in this one for the 30th of Jan at 5 p.m., look, there you go, it's going to webinar page 30th of Jan, 9 p uh, 5 p.m. So there you go, there's your three webinar pages. Then we've got a replay page. I'm only gonna use one replay, uh, so I don't need to do three of those. And all I'm gonna do is when I've recorded the first one, Webinar Jam will give me that video. I can download it. Um, I just tidied up the start and the end, to be honest. And um, they, I think on the replay, people don't wanna hear me for five minutes saying hello to who's coming in. So I've just chopped that bit off. Um, yeah, and then head away to the registration page afterwards. And again, there's only one registration page. So that part is easy again. We're, we're now back into there just being one thing. So I've got my sales page over there, and then that page just links across to my payment options, which goes to my offer, which you know all that stuff anyway. So there you go. Hopefully that's at least shown you that it's doable. Uh, by all means, if I've confused you or if you've got questions, come back to me. I really don't mind. But there you go, that's how I've created a webinar um, and I've put three different dates in there. By all means, come and join me if it's not too late and you can see how this all comes together and what the experience is like. So I love Kajabi, I love Webinar Jam, I've pulled the two together. Um, feedback on the last one was, could have done with multiple events. Didn't think I could do it, but I've worked it out and there it is. Um, if you're not using Kajabi already, I really recommend it. There's a link in the description to it. You can get a trial of it over there. And uh, there's a link to Webinar Jam as well, where again, you can get two months trial for free. Well, actually it's $1, but yeah. <laughs> Thanks ever so much. Watch the other videos. Uh, please uh, give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. And if you're interested in making videos like this, well, come and check us out over at the Pro Video Academy. Just head to adriansalisbury.com and you can find out all about us. Thanks ever so much. See you in another video.